Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this channel ad free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike and this is an ink sample bottle. I don't have a full bottle of this to show you, uh, so I, I can't do that. But this is Venta Pamana Brown or Heritage Brown. Apparently Pamana just means heritage, so I'm not sure exactly what their name is. Uh, it would be weird if it was Venta Heritage Heritage Brown, but like whatever. This is Venta Pamana Brown and this might be my favorite brown. I... Right now, I love this ink, and I need to get a bottle of it. I haven't done it yet, but I will. I'm on the lookout. Uh, I know I can get it from Van Ass, but I looked at shows, couldn't find it. So, favorite brown right now. Take note, I'm a brown ink lover, and this one is ticking all my boxes. So, I have it in two nibs here because I put it in, I liked it so much, I put it in a pen for Audrey. So, this is my usual Rodia 80 grams per square meter paper, which is uh, nice and coated, and so you get a lot of different uh, things going on with this. Flow on this, pretty medium. I haven't had any, like, anything weird it seems totally normal pretty good on copy paper we'll see that here in a little bit when we look at paper samples qualities a sheen in fact uh, there might be a little bit of shading but I kind of think it's a steady ink with a sheen on it instead of a, uh, a shading ink with a sheen pens the one that I've been using it in is the Kasama Una with a broad stub which I thought was a sig when I wrote that I don't know why but it's definitely a stub as this pen it is made of peak it's a really interesting looking material there's that uh, there's that nib, definitely a stub nib, and man, is it good in there. And then for Audrey, I had it in this pen for her, which is a pen that um, she bought from John Albert, who's a friend of ours, who makes great pens. It's like a stabilized hemp wood. It's super cool. And this just has a medium Franklin Christoph nib in there, so like a very sort of normal medium nib. And you can see it actually looks quite a bit different because you're getting a lot more sheen off of this one. It concentrates all that ink in one place, and so you get Get more of that green sheen. So basically, this is a reddish brown ink with a green sheen over the top of it, and it looks awesome. That's uh, that's that's my that's my review. I love it. 30 ml bottle, 12.50. Also a great price. So there's nothing to complain about with this ink so far. So let's do a water test. Look at a chromatography. Look at some other papers. Look at the other inks that are kind of like this. I have a lot of brown inks to compare to it. So that's where we are headed. Let me get this. Had to break that loose a little bit. Throw some water on it, bam. And you can see that water is definitely a different color already and you can see it actually like drifting off the page there. I don't think this is gonna be particularly water resistant and that is uh, being borne out. It's, you can see it's like an interesting, it's like green is coming off the top, like a mossy green. It's like there's pink underneath. This is cool. Even It's even cool when you pour water on it. Might be something to take note of for y'all who do ink wash and that sort of, uh, you know, artsy stuff. This might be an interesting one for you because it's gonna, look at that, it's coming up pink on the, the paper towel. <laughs> wow, wow, look at that. That's interesting, all on its own. Let's go ahead and mop this up. So is it water resistant? I mean, that depends what you mean. <laughs> can you read the words? Yeah, you can see water test, you can see the lines and the dots. I think that's working, that's working pretty well, actually. Uh, but it's not water resistant as a brown, it's water resistant as a pink <laughs> so here is the chromatography and there's that line of pink down at the bottom that did stick around so that that works and i should have trusted it but the colors that move up the sheet here hot pink in here up to orange up to like a dark brownish tinge and that's kind of where it stopped which is interesting but you actually get some you actually get some sheen you get sheen on here that's not normal <laughs> you don't usually get sheen on the chromatography paper, but you did here. So yeah, pretty wild. Let's look at it on a bunch of different papers. Here it is on our usual trash tier copy paper from Staples, 20 pound, 30% recycled copy paper. Most of this is done in this Yovo broad stub, which makes it look uh, very nice. You do get a good amount of sheen, just a little bit on this paper, because this paper does suck up the sheen on a lot of inks. Uh, but then here with the medium nib, it's hard to see actually because I don't know, I think clouds just came in front of the sun. It got way dark in here. Uh, so, you know, more of a reddish brown on the stub nib. And then this one, you get more of that green sheen, which is making it look darker. So very cool. And then on the back, yeah, it worked out pretty well on here, at least as well as anything else, pretty much. What's this? What's above it? Oh, Venta, Van Diemen's Night. Yeah, we'll do that one eventually. But um, most things bleed through at least this much. This is actually less than some. And this is a broad stub, remember. So, uh, you know, more ink, bigger nib. So that's pretty cool. 
then here on this paper, which is, uh, this is the, um, right there, HP Premium 32 pound. It looks really great on here, works well. No, no, nothing coming through the back. Well, I don't know, maybe a dot up here, but that's it. And this is marginal for fountain pens, like pretty good paper, uh, pretty good for fountain pens, but actually this works very well on here. So if you use pretty good, but not uh, amazing paper and not trash tier paper, yeah, this is gonna look real nice for you. You get all that shading, you get some sheen, looks great. Tumoi River from Galen River Galen Leather Company. Galen, yes, Galen Leather Company. It sounded weird when I said it the first time. This is, of course, Tumoi River, and so you get uh, a lot more sheen and that sort of thing. Uh, I think what happened here was a cat stepped on it before it was dry. I'm pretty sure a cat leapt up here and did that. I'm, that's what I'm going to blame it on as a cat. So interesting color, good sheen, looks nice on Tumoi River. Actually way sheenier in real life than it looks here because my light is kind of diffuse. This is wheat straw paper in my inky fingers notebook. Where is it? There it is. And I don't have writing samples with the regular medium nib because I gave that, I, I filled that up for Audrey and so I don't keep track of it in my ink book. But it looks fantastic on this paper. I think this looks, I think it might look the best on this, uh, this wheat straw paper. Fantastic. Get a little bit of shading up here, some sheen, got that character. I'm telling you, this is this is my favorite brown right now and I can't get enough of it. So uh, find yourself some Vinta Pomata Brown and uh, you know tell them I sent you because I'm, I'm loving it. Really nice work, Vinta. All right, that's it. You'll see me in another video soon. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell me about what you think about this. Am I raving too hard? Is this like just not your cup of tea and I'm, I'm wildly incorrect? I don't know, tell me what you think. Am I totally right and I've changed your, your life about and changed your mind about brown inks? I don't know, leave a comment and uh, you know, sub subscribe. You, you made it all the way here. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free and then go buy some of this. All right, uh, thank you very much. Peace out. Whoops, just kidding. I'm back. Uh, I forgot to do. I forgot to do ink swatches. I don't know. I got too excited. Here it is on a Colodex card. Vinta Pamana Brown, looking amazing on here. Uh, I bought this at Van Ness. This is Vinta's Sandugo, maybe. I think this. I don't know what color this is because it's got so much sheen. I think it might be an orange, but it could be a brown. It could just be a sheenier version of Pamana. I don't know, maybe. Uh, then we have here Van Diemen's Night Series Tiger Quoll Prowl, which is a shimmer ink, shimmer and sheen, a kind of similar brown color underneath, even though it's hard to tell, I think, because of all the stuff going on on top of this. Then next up, this is Krishna's Brown Pink, which, like, isn't that close in the actual colors, I think, but the overall impression is sort of close so I threw this in because why not then we have here Ackerman number no. nine Dutch Masters uh, which is I think fairly close more red for sure then we have Platinum's Mix Free Earth Brown which is a really nice brown you don't really hear much about these mix free inks but I think they're very good it's a darker and more true like brownie brown than Pamana, but still pretty nice and pretty similar. This is Diamine Ackerman SBRE Brown ink, which I think is very close. So if you like this SBRE Brown ink, but wish that it had a bunch of sheen and stuff going on, it was maybe a little bit redder than uh, Pamana might be up your alley. Then we have uh, Robert Oster's Australis Oak. These Australis inks are really nice looking. And I think this is kind of like this. If you like this color but want it to be lighter, I think that's what you have here. And then uh, super lastly, Robert Oster and Pin Chalet Antelope Canyon, which I think is pretty close to Australis Brown. It's a, it's, it's a touch darker, maybe a bit redder, but it's still lighter and less red, I think, than Pomana Brown. So yeah, some interesting inks there. Antelope Canyon, Australis Oak, and, and this one. So really an interesting color family, Brown. There's going to be something for everybody in Brown. All right, that's it. Back to your regularly scheduled program.